si nimejua I have known uh, our jeep guest his excellency honorable dr wikli msali amdabadi pgh prime cabinet secretary and cabinet secretary in charge of ministry of foreign affairs and diaspora affairs foreign and diaspora affairs fellow cabinet ministers who are here principal secretaries all representatives from foreign missions and countries distinguished representatives from international organization leaders of cooperative organization esteemed cooperators distinguished guests ladies and gentlemen i Good evening once again and welcome to the annual cooperative movement here at the shores of Lake Naivasha, Kenya. It is an immense honor to stand before you today as we gather to celebrate the remarkable achievements of cooperatives and micro small and medium enterprises across Africa and the globe. <clears throat> Today, we take pride in celebrating the various development initiatives by our government, led by His Excellency, the President and Commander of Commander in Chief of Defense Forces, William Ruto. His leadership has been a beacon of hope for our cooperative movement and our MSMEs, and we are grateful for this unwavering support. Recognizing the urgency to preserve and maintain the role of cooperatives in national economic and social development, the government vigorously pursued legislative and institutional reforms to strengthen the cooperative subsector. The government affirms its commitment to uphold the sanity of the cooperative values and principles as a way of enabling the crop of cooperative enterprises while ensuring that the interests of the general memberships are safeguarded. Kenya has a long history of cooperative development that has been characterized by strong growth, thus making a significant contribution to the overall economy. I also extend a warm welcome to my fellow ministers from Africa and the STEAM leaders from around the world. Your presence here signifies the importance of cooperation and collaboration as we tackle the challenges and seize the opportunities that lie ahead. As many of you know, the 2024 Saga Congress is not just a platform for dialogue. It is a celebration of our collective progress. I congratulate the leadership of ACOSCA for its efforts in strengthening the African cooperative sector through the initiative on capacity building, training, and advocacy within the continent and across the world. Last year, we convened in Botswana, where we shared invaluable insights and experience that continue to shape our cooperative narratives. Under the theme, Promotion Sustainable Socioeconomic Transformation Through Cooperatives, the Government of Kenya recognizes that the Saga Congress 
presents a rare platform for global cooperatives cooperators to engage with stakeholders, benchmark on policy framework approaches and dialogue on best practices that strengthen diversity, equity, and in inclusive development in Africa. The team seeks to promote cooperatives and raise awareness of their contribution to the implementation of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals and Social Economic Development in Africa. I'm pleased that Kenya received the privilege to host this year's meeting, a testament to our commitment in a, to advancing the cooperative sector. We are excited to share our unique experiences and innovative practices with all of you as we strive to deepen our cooperative movement and spur economic development. As we prepare to pass the button once again, I am pleased to announce that Ghana will be our next gracious host for the 2025 session. We look forward to a productive engagement with our Ghanaian friends and learning from the rich disparity of their cooperative history. Ladies and gentlemen, let us remember that the cooperative movement is a powerful force for empowerment. It unites individuals from diverse backgrounds, fostering a sense of community, shared responsibility, and mutual support. Together, we can create sustainable solutions that addresses the pressing challenges facing our societies. Today, as we share ideas, build partnerships, and forge new paths, let us reaffirm our dedication to empowering our members, supporting our communities, and promoting wise governance that reflects cooperative principles. In closing, I invite all of you to engage wholesomely in the discussion and activities planned over the next few days. Let us come together to inspire, innovate, and implement the changes we wish to see. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Now is my opportunity to thank you once again for coming, especially the fellow ministers who have come from various countries to come and join us uh, today. I hope you will be staying with us up to the end of the session. Now join me, ladies and gentlemen.